Hi, I'm Brainerd Carey, Director of Praxis Center for Aesthetics. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about grants, grants for artists. Now, there's a number of types of grants out there, and I want to go over today where to find them and a little bit about um, what they're for. So grants, there's two kinds of grants. There's what's called merit-based grants, which means the grants are no strings attached. You get the grant and it's money to use as you wish. And then there are grants that are based on a particular mission of the organization. So for example, like a community-based project that they're looking for. Uh, in that case, your grant proposal is geared towards something very specific that, um, that they're looking for. In either case, you're looking for individual grants. So let me tell you a little bit about where to find them. No matter where you are in the world, US, Canada, Europe, um, Middle East, Asia, wherever you are, uh, go to your local library. I know this may seem odd in the age of online resources, but here's why. Your local library is usually not far away, and there's someone there to help you. Ask the librarian uh, right away, do you have a grants section? And in almost all cases, they do have a grant section. Not only do they have a grant section, they'll have online database. So you can ask the librarian for help, as always, and say, you know, I'm looking for individual grants, I'm an artist, where would I find those? That's one way. The other way is there's uh, some online resources and grant libraries. There's one called the Foundation Center in New York City. The Foundation Center in New York City is a grant library. And you can go there and research grants for free. And there's a librarian there. But if you're not in New York City, the Foundation Center has an online component, which is $20 a month to join. Now, if you don't want to spend that $20 a month, you have two options. You can either go there physically or go to your local library. And in most cases, local libraries are subscribed to grant resources like this. So you can use the library's computer and access their database. Okay, so a little bit about searching for grants. When you're searching for grants, what I would suggest is you look under, there's two ways you can apply to grants. There's, there's individual grants and there's organizational grants. You're looking for grants for individuals. That's the kind that, that pays you out directly. Grants for organizations do not apply to you. Therefore, uh, not, not, you may have a collaborative, you may have uh, some type of organization, but unless it's a nonprofit organization or in Europe, a non-governmental organization, um, those grants will not apply for you. They're looking for people with tax exempt status. So again, when you're searching for grants, if you're using online resources or the library, you're looking for individual grants for artists. This is the place to begin. I recently made a video about goal setting too, um, which you can look at and use the same process. I was using goal setting and setting up your calendar for residencies. You can do the same thing with grants. Um, if you want more support in this, you can become a member of Praxis Center. There's a course there that uh, is just about grants and you'll also have my personal attention. I'll help you with your presentation, look at your website, all kinds of things. So if you're interested in that, please use the links below to consider becoming a member of Praxis Center, where you'll meet lots of other artists. It's an amazing support group there. And you'll have my attention, as well as a community of artists there who are very supportive, and as well as a whole suite of courses helping you with things from grants and residencies to um, bio, resume, press release writing, getting a gallery, and lots of other things, including fundraising. So I wish you well. Thank you for uh, watching this video. I wish you the best in your artistic practice.